Mel Tucker is suspended by Michigan State after he allegedly sexually harassed well-known activist and rape survivor Brenda Tracy over the phone. MSU Athletics is now bringing back a legend to help put the pieces of the program back together. Mark D'Antonio will return to the Spartan football program. He spent 13 seasons in East Lansing before announcing his retirement three years ago. MSU Director of Athletics Alan Haller asked D'Antonio if he could come help out, and the 67-year-old was happy to oblige. I called Coach D'Antonio um, this morning, and his response was, Alan, whatever you need, I'm here to help. So he was excited to, to be back, and uh, Coach D will probably be back at some point tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely on Tuesday. We're still trying to figure out his role, um, but he definitely will wear a headset either on the sidelines and, and up in the, the booth, and he'll offer his, his, uh, his knowledge of his, his coaching career. Antonio has done so much in East Lansing over his career. His 114 wins with the Spartans rank as the most in program history. 13 on your side, Sports Director Jamal Spencer is in East Lansing following the press conference today, and he has some inside information on the new interim head coach, Harlan Barnett. Jamal? You know, Mark, Harlan Barnett has all the respect of the players in that locker room as well as former Spartan football players because he's a guy who bleeds green. Barnett was a team captain and an All-American defensive back for the Spartans in the late 80s. And as an assistant coach, he's been money on the recruiting trail for the Spartans. He put together that defensive secondary that called themselves the no-fly zone that helped the team win the Rose Bowl and the Cotton Bowl in the mid-2010s. Now, also... He knows Mark D'Antonio incredibly well. In 17 of the past 19 seasons, Barnett has either coached at Michigan State or coached, else, or coached elsewhere with Mark D'Antonio. So those two working together is probably the best thing for continuity's sake for this Spartan team moving forward. No word yet on whether he'll speak to the media tomorrow, which is the head coach's scheduled meeting time, Monday at 1230. But we will hear from Harlan Barnett later this week as he dons the big whistle and Mark D'Antonio, as you said, returns to the sidelines as well. Live in East Lansing, Jamal Spencer, 13 on your side sports.